Do you get nervous when you have the ball at your feet? Are you just nervous every time you play? Maybe you're nervous when you're playing with new players or you're in a big game. Every player struggles with nerves and this is a problem that I want to solve for you today. This video is going to help you with that. It's going to help you come over being nervous on the ball or being nervous when you play. Now I think that's a big problem is most players are really nervous when they have the ball. In fact, they don't want the ball because they're afraid they're going to make mistakes. They're afraid everyone's going to yell at them. So first you need to understand that everyone makes mistakes. Even the best players in the world make mistakes. The difference is great players they get motivation from mistakes, okay? Their mistakes make them better. Average players get frustrated, they get disappointed when they make mistakes, and instead of trying to fix it, trying to become better, they shy away, they run away, they hide, okay? They don't want the ball anymore because they don't want to make any more mistakes. So understand that everyone makes mistakes, and that's fine as long as you're learning from them. Try never to make the same mistakes twice. Okay, if I receive the ball and I try to turn into a defender without looking, Next time I'm not going to do that. Next time I'm going to look over my shoulder, I'm going to feel where the defender is with my arms, or I'm simply going to play one touch back, and I'm, going to, I'm just going to try something different, okay? Never make the same mistake twice. I think you'll find one of the most frustrating things is playing with players who continually make the same mistakes, so do not be that player. Okay, so I have five ideas I want to get into today, and the first one is that you are totally in control of the way you think. So if currently you're nervous when you play, don't look for anyone else to fix that problem. That is within you. You have to fix that problem. It's not your coach's fault. It's not your teammate's fault. It's not your opponent's fault. It's not anyone else's fault. You control the way you think. So if you're nervous, that's your fault. And as long as you want to do something about that, if you realize that this is a big problem, then it can be fixed. Okay, the next thing you want to think about is being positive and optimistic with your mindset. Most players when they receive the ball they're so nervous because they've made mistakes in the past they're thinking about everything that could possibly go wrong. They're thinking about their teammates yelling at them, they're thinking about having a bad touch, they're thinking about making mistakes, they're thinking about the other team stripping the ball off of them and going and scoring on their net. Okay, they're thinking about everything that could possibly go wrong. If you want to have more success instantly change your negative mindset to a positive and optimistic mindset. Okay. Think about all the things that you're going to do well. You're going to make a good pass and your teammates are going to compliment you. You're going to dribble into space with efficiency and urgency. You're going to make a good play and everyone's going to be happy, okay? You're going to do things well. You're going to be optimistic. Everything is going to work out for you. You might make mistakes, but you're going to recover from them, okay? So you have to switch your mindset. If you're thinking negatively, the negative things are going to happen. If you're thinking positively, you're much more likely to make positive things happen. In order to stop being nervous on the ball, we have to think constructively instead of destructively, okay? We have to start thinking about what we're going to do with the ball instead of panicking and worry about making mistakes. So when that ball is coming into you, you need to decide what you're going to do before you get the ball. I'm sure you've heard that a thousand times, but are you actually doing it and are you improving the speed at which you do it, okay? So if that ball is coming into me, what's happening is most players are getting the ball here they're receiving, then they're turning, then they're getting their head up, and then they're deciding what to do. By that point, it's already too late because this has already been closed and our teammates have already been closed down, okay? There's no options for us. So you need to know what you're gonna do before you even get the ball, okay? So how are you gonna do that? Well, I have to look around. Most players are just looking at the ball the whole time, okay? The ball shifts here, they're still looking at the ball. The ball's here, they're still looking at the ball. Yes, you wanna look at the ball, you wanna know where the ball is, but you need to know so many more things like where the open space is, where my teammates are, where the defenders are, okay? And if you can just start looking around more, okay? So as this ball is coming into me, I'm looking over my shoulder. I know that there's a defender here. I know I have a teammate over here. I know someone's coming close me down here. Okay, I know there's open space here. So when that ball comes in, I can just play it out one touch, okay? So you have to know what you're gonna do before the ball comes to you. The only way you can do that is be aware of what's around you and then stick with your instincts, okay? So when that ball comes in, and you know that you're getting closed down quickly, you're just gonna play one touch. Or if you know that you have space, you're gonna turn and play quickly, okay? So if you're not sure what to do, this is the other point that I'm gonna get into. If you're not sure what to do, just keep it really simple. You're either playing the ball to someone in a better position than you, 
or you're dribbling into space, okay? You're dribbling into space and then someone's gonna close you down. When other players close you down, that means that there's space for someone else, okay? So if you have two, three players coming to you, that means there's space for someone else on the ball. Okay, so first, decide what you're gonna do before the ball comes into you. I know I'm getting closed down quickly. Okay, I'm just gonna play the ball one touch into here, or I'm gonna clip the ball into space over here, one touch, or I'm gonna play the ball back here. Okay, or if I do have space, I'm gonna turn and try to play positively into new space. Okay, but you're not gonna know how to play or what to do unless you get your head up, okay? Shoulder checking, looking over your shoulder, looking where are the defenders, where are my teammates, so you have an idea. When that ball is coming into you, it's rolling into you, you've already made your decision. You already know you're gonna play one touch, you're gonna move to get it back, okay? You already know you're gonna half turn, you're gonna play into space and then join in the attack. Okay, so try to make decisions quicker. Instead of panicking, thinking about making mistakes, thinking about what positive player you're gonna make. Now, the other thing, you're nervous because you don't know what to do when you have the ball at your feet. So to keep it simple, like I said, you're either playing the ball to someone in a better position and then supporting them or making a forward run, or you're dribbling into space, okay? So if you, you've already looked over your shoulder, remember you're making decisions quick and you get half turned, don't stop here and hesitate, okay? As soon as you have that space, your first touch is open, you're dribbling into space. Players will then close you down, which will create space for your teammates, okay? So you're either passing the ball quickly and moving to get it back, or you're dribbling into open space until you get closed down and you're playing that pass to another teammate, okay? So you don't know what to do, keep it simple. Keep the ball moving. If you're getting closed down, just keep the ball moving. Pass, okay? Sometimes the best pass that you can make is backwards just to keep possession and that's fine. You'll find new space, okay, players will rotate, you'll find new space, try to get the ball again. If you have space, take that space. But if you have a teammate who's getting, who's in a better position than you, play that ball, okay? So just being positive, having an optimistic mindset, expect things to work out for you instead of expecting yourself to make mistakes. Realize that you're in control. Okay, try to make decisions before you get the ball. How are you gonna do that? Have your head up, look around. Don't just look at the ball, look at around you. Where are your de defenders? Where are your teammates? Where's the opposition? Where's the open space? Okay, when you have the ball, you wanna do two things. Either play the ball to a teammate who's in a better position than you, play the ball to keep possession, or you're gonna dribble into that open space until you get closed down. And the last thing I wanted to touch on, which I forget, but I'll bring it up quickly, is your work ethic will get you through your mistakes. Okay, so if you're really nervous, work ethic is gonna help you ease your nerves. Okay, so if you're really nervous in the game, maybe you have a couple bad touches to start, okay? You have a couple bad touches, you lose possession of the ball. What's gonna get you back into the game, it's gonna get your confidence back is your work ethic. Can you be more involved defensively? So can I chase that ball down right away? Get it back, play a simple pass, and get involved in the play. Try to get the ball back, keep things simple, okay? When they have the ball, I'm gonna close down really quickly. If my touch is letting me down, if I'm really nervous on the ball, work harder defensively to ease your nerves, okay? Make a few tackles. Get in and nick that ball or force them to make a rushed pass, okay? So work harder defensively and that's gonna help you ease your nerves and get into the flow of the game, okay? Especially if you have the ball, you make a mistake, you lose possession, okay? Work hard to get it back. Obviously, you don't wanna be running all over the field out of your position, okay? But you wanna work hard to get it back. You're gonna help out your teammates, you're gonna double up. You're not just gonna have your hands up in the air or feel sorry for yourself. You're gonna work to get that ball back, okay? If you're not uh, getting the ball enough, you need to work harder to get into position, okay? Work harder to get into open space. Work harder to be an option to get the ball in the box, okay? So if you're really nervous, work ethic. Close players down quickly, work really hard on defense, work harder to make more runs to get into open space, and demand that ball when you have space. I think you'll find if you're really nervous, you're probably not asking for the ball. So you have all this open space, but a lot of players, they don't even want to get this pass, or even in front of the net. They don't want to get that pass there because they're so nervous that they're going to make a mistake. Remember what I said in the beginning, everyone makes mistakes. It's more important that you try and fail than fail to try at all, okay? So it's much more better for your development 
if you try and make mistakes and you learn from them. Remember, this is all about your long-term development. If you suck right now, there's no reason that you can't become great. Okay, the more mistakes you make, the more you can learn from them, but it's all about your mindset. Remember what I said about great players. When great players make mistakes, they learn from them. They get motivated to become better. Average players make mistakes, they get frustrated, they get disappointed, they get discouraged, and they don't wanna play, they hide in the game. They're afraid to make more mistakes. Okay, so one of the one uh, really helpful tip I want you to apply if it happens to you, if you make a mistake, let's say you have the ball and you lose possession or you make a bad pass, okay, I want you to want that ball the very next play. Okay, so let's say you have the ball and you're trying to play it out here, you make a bad pass. Again, work hard to get it back. Let's say they lose the ball, our team gets it back. Most players now, they wouldn't want the ball because they just made a mistake. I want you to want that ball. Want that ball. Even though you just made a mistake, demand that ball and believe that next time you're gonna make the right play. Okay, so that's a lot of advice right there. But just believe in yourself, okay? Remember, you're totally in control. If you're nervous, that's your fault. And as long as you wanna do something about it, then you can fix that problem. I hope this video helped. Thanks for checking in. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.